where visionaries, entrepreneurs, and artists dream, transform, and create. Ray TV. You are listening to Miracle Moment, and I am your host, Ray Ireland. This is where trailblazing, truth-telling, provocative, and successful entrepreneurs and creatives from around the globe share their number one miracle moment that changed everything, pointing them in the direction of igniting epic soul alignment in their life and business. These renegade souls will show you the the behind-the-scenes, real-life magic on how to create a world-class lifestyle of true success. I am so glad you're tuning in. So how do you know if your story is worth telling? Well, there are a lot of women who want to be known for their story. They want to have this personal brand. You may want to be the muse for others, be an inspiration. You already see yourself as a leader and you want to be able to share your story to inspire others to have a shift in their life, to have a new perspective, to take action. And you know that your personal story is the exact steps that you went through, the wisdom that you gained, and it's now where you're at. And you're curious, you're like, hmm, I like my story. I want to share it, but is it good enough? You see, there's all these other incredible female entrepreneurs, female leaders, and visionaries who are sharing their stories and their stories are just so good and they're so clear and so much happened. And wow, I just, I don't know if my story will hit like that. Well, if you're feeling this, then I want to let you know that first of all, you're not alone. This is something that I believe everyone experiences when they start to think about sharing their story. And maybe it's actually sharing your story for the first time. Maybe it's sharing your story to a new audience. Maybe it's sharing your story to a wider audience. Each of those steps requires a new level of vulnerability and rawness to come out. Well, let's say if you want to share a really good story, you could always share the super dry version, but then, you know, who's that going to inspire? So we're talking about sharing epic stories that really land with people, that move people, that get people inspired to take that action. Well, what I find most of the time when I'm working with my clients and they're having this fear come up around sharing their story, I ask them, like, why wouldn't you? And a lot of times what I hear is, the reason why they wouldn't share it is because they're scared others are going to be judging them, judging them and seeing them, looking at them differently because now they'll know all the dirty secrets. (laughs) And I definitely experienced this too before I released my book, before I've uh, put on different theater productions um, in certain social media posts. Like I've experienced this over and over again. And I can tell you from my personal experience and also from the women I've worked with, it's actually not that others are going to be judging your story. It's that they're going to be judging you where you're at now. Imagine, take some of the most incredible leaders or inspirations, right? We have like Deepak Chopra. For me, like like Oprah, Beyonce, like these like powerhouse leaders. If I found out that there was something that happened in as part of their story, I would actually probably feel a little bit better about myself. (laughs) I would feel more connected to them. I wouldn't really hold that against them. So what it comes down to is when we experience that fear or that judgment of like, is my story worth being told? It really is you judging yourself and where you're at now. After going through everything, who are you now? And do you love who's in the mirror? Now that's, we'll save all that work (laughs) in a different episode, but you can see how a lot of times you do look in the mirror. And I think you're, if you're a leader, you know, of course, there's always the inner critic that's there to help you sharpen those weak spots and all of that. We can say that in the nicest way possible, but also there's that strong inner voice that we develop as leaders that says, you've got it. Like, 
you're awesome. You have so much to share. You have so much value and wisdom that would be so important for others to hear. So that is the voice that you want to crank up, that you want to amplify. And just ask yourself, do you think this story is worth sharing? And see what voice comes up. That's how you will know if your story is worth telling. And once we get into the real, real of this, you'll never know until you try. So you may as well just put it out there, see how it lands, and also know that it might not be the story itself. It may be the way you tell the story that isn't landing. Again, that's a whole other rabbit hole. I'll share another episode. But in the case of the question, how do I know if my story is worth telling? That's something you get to figure out with yourself in the mirror. Thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't yet, so you can stay up to date for new episodes coming out soon. And remember to witness and acknowledge the miracles and magic in every moment. This is Ray Ireland, and I'll see you soon.